He is one of the stars of TLC's Clean Sweep, also a best-selling author, a regular guest on Oprah. But Peter Walsh's organizational expertise is now at your disposal, at least for the next couple of days. Mile arrival live at the Southern Ideal Home Show at the Coliseum this morning with a look on how you can get in on organizing advice. And Milo, we expect your desk to be efficiency to the nines once you come back. Efficient, yeah. beyond belief. I'll see, I'll see, I'll see if I can make that happen okay. because, you know, I am standing by with an organizational guru. I'd like to please welcome Peter Walsh, who is, you are, you are a guru. They put it in the news release. It always terrifies me when, when I'm called the guru. I, I help people get organized. That's enough. No guruing. No guruing. No. Okay. Well, I tell you what, why don't we start with something nice and simple as far as closet. Okay. Go. Really, really very simple. Pretty much everyone struggles with the clothes in their closet. And the bottom line is you wear 20% of your clothes. 80% of the time. It's true. And if you don't believe me, here's what you do. Go to your closet right now. Not just yet. Wait till this piece is over and then turn off the TV. Take everything that's on a coat hanger and turn the coat hangers, the clothes hangers, back to front. Like this. For the next six months, every time you wear an article of clothing and hang it back up, put the hanger in the correct way. At the end of six months, whatever is still hanging back to front Bye -bye. But you got it. Simple Bye -bye. as that. It's a really easy way to check on what clothes you do or don't. And it's true. I mean, we were actually talking, and we, you know, we said we weren't going to. Oh, who are we kidding? <laughs> Hi, Akila. Akila, our producer, was talking about how, what do you, you just have so much stuff. Yeah, you yeah. don't have room. Like, my closet is jammed. No, no, no. Stop, stop. Akila, you should be listening to this as well. It's never a matter of not having enough room. You only have the room you have. You have too much stuff. So the first thing you have to do is to cut down the volume of stuff to fit into the space you have. Otherwise, it's just never gonna happen for you. That's a good point. And what, what do you think it is? Why do we keep, why do we hang on to things? I mean, you have to deal with this all the time. Well, usually it's because we're, we live in hope. I mean, most people have wish clothes in their closet. Now, they're the clothes that, I wish my butt were a little smaller, <laughs> or I wish I had the abs I had in college. If you have wish clothes, get rid of them. Get them out of your closet, because the only kinds of clothes you should have in your closet are clothes you wear, and fit you, clothes you love, and clothes that you get compliments on. You look great to that in that today, Myla. Thank you. See, so you that, know what? That's working. This, and I wear it. That's, that's why I wear it because I like that's it. That's my point. You know, and I think that's a really good point because you know there's so many things that we just get you know sucked into. And if you have clothes you don't wear, they're probably in great condition. Mm. Send them off to charity. That's exactly it. And make sure you have a closet that breathes. So when you walk in in the morning, you really feel like. Ah, this is a place I can easily and quickly get dressed and look my best rather than I want to kill myself with my own coat hanger because <laughs> this closet's driving me nuts. Absolutely. And I mean, there's all sorts of little things that can make your closet a little more organized once you've gotten rid of all the stuff you Well, a need. couple of simple things. Like there are these great little, you know, doodah attachments now so that as you're getting dressed, you can hang things up, you know, Clever. things for ties and belts. The other big thing is keep... Th give me one of your shoes for a second. Okay. Okay. The other big thing is keep things up off the floor that's really critical and so use use shoe racks you're going to walk really in a lame way give me the other shoe right, again come on go. here we go so <laughs> keep keep shoes up off the floor that's really important keep the flat surfaces clear and then also use baskets like this especially for things like scarves mittens that kind of stuff in cold weather so that they're all in one place and then in the uh, warmer season, they can easily be put away. Simple fantastic, as that. Fantastic, fantastic. Molly, you're short. Oh, I know I'm tiny now. <laughs> That's okay. I can do this. Well, thank you so, <laughs> thank you so much. And of course, if you if you would like the chance to get some of these tips yourself, come on down to the Southern Ideal Home Show. Not only will you be offering a few seminars, you'll also be signing copies of his new book. Jay? Bring those questions. That's right. Come on. Bring the questions. He wants to talk to you. Fascinating. Them. Just get your shoes back, Myla. I will get my shoes I back a little okay. later, but they're very organized right now. I kind of right. like it. Tell a Kayla to stay away, though. Yeah. <laughs> Akila. Oh, no. Akila. <laughs> 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 Gotta be nice to kill it. The producers just take care of us. Thanks, everybody. Well, if you haven't had a chance to check out the Southern Ideal Home Show yet, you might want to try and stop by today because we do have a very special guest who will be offering some great organizational tips. We're joined by Peter Walsh. You are a best-selling author. I think we might have seen you on Oprah. I do believe you were involved with a little show on TLC let's called move, Queen's Let's Eve. just move this along, shall okay, we? Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. Very modest. But you definitely know what you're talking about when it comes to organizing. So let's get right to it.
to it. Okay. What are some great tips for organizing your okay. closet? Closets are really important. One, because it's where you start in the morning. And here's your choice. You walk into your closet and want to kill yourself <laughs> because there's so much stuff. Or you walk into your closet and it sets the tone for the day. So you choose. I think most people would want to go for option B. Yeah, especially on a Monday morning. Okay. I want it to be easy So there are a few simple things. Number one, and I know it sounds really dumb, get a hamper. Get a hamper, people. Get a hamper. Because here's the deal. When you take off the dirty clothes at night, have somewhere where they live. Just throw them in the hamper. And I know it sounds simplistic, but important. Important. Absolutely. Are you following you know, me here? I am following okay. you because you know you don't want it you don't want it on the floor. You want it where you can okay. deal with it. All right. Okay, now, now let's once you take care of your dirty clothes. Well the thing is also there's a second item here. You can get these great cupboard inserts and drawer inserts now that really increase the amount of space in I any see. of the cupboards and make it really easy to access stuff. So really consider these. They just install easily. You can get them at most large um, big box hardware stores. Absolutely. And it means you can store things kind of almost like in a shelf format that you normally wouldn't be able to put on a shelf. Like let's say if something is not odd shape or like right. roll off, you know, belts and, and, and things. And there's not stuff lost in the back of the shelf. That's the other thing. Okay, Absolutely. so the other great thing are drawer inserts too. And something like this, hang on, let me just get my belt here. All right. So, okay, so <laughs> something as simple as this, which is fantastic, for storing belts, socks, whatever oh, you want. Oh, there you go. And it's also, just in case you had anything that was delicate, it's, it's actually lined with a, like a kind of velvet type That's material, right. so you're not going to well, scratch it. My, my belt's up. extremely important. I don't, sure. want, I don't want it marked. You want it to be beautiful. Yes, yes this is absolutely. a $4.99 at a discount <laughs> store. So, draw inserts for socks, you know, as you say, delicates, anything like that as well. And they also extend to even Drawer um, inserts for jewelry as well. That's fantastic. It's like turning your, your closet into a jewelry box so you don't have things lying yeah. around on the table or anything like so that. So the great thing is that there are just so many options now, whether it's inserts, whether it's the pullouts, whether it's double hangers, you can find all that stuff that can really help your closet be the space that makes you want to go into rather than want to run away. You and it. absolutely, and I think the other thing that's true that's important is you have to declutter. You have to get rid of the stuff. If you're not wearing the clothes, get rid of them. If you haven't worn them in 12 months, get rid of them. If they no longer fit you, get rid of them. Absolutely. Well, tips like these and more are available today. I'm sure you'll be ready for people's right questions. Right here. Yep, right here. If anyone's got questions, they can talk to you. Oh, that's fantastic. I would love to field anything. In fact, drag that husband or wife along <laughs> who won't clear the garage, the paperwork, or the kids' toys. Sit them down. I will convert them. Bring them along. That's fantastic. Well, thank you so much for being with us, and we'll send it back to you.